welcome back to my channel it's your girl pretty my and today i have pink hair like that's the intro that's the whole intro literally but for real today we're going to be dying and installing this hair so i think y'all gonna like this video a lot because it's hands on just how y'all like it and i'll show y'all every step i did with all the tips all the tea and i even tell you where i got it from like you know i'm just throwing it all in there so i'm not even gonna talk too much get into it keep watching and i'm gonna see y'all in a second all right, so I kind of just jumped straight into it. I'm using the Adore Cotton Candy color. Y'all can see I have like six bottles over there. The back row is like a whole different color that I was going to use if I ran out, but I actually only used two bottles. So right now I'm using one and a half bottles of the Adore Cotton Candy. And then I'm mixing it up with my plastic knife. Mix it with whatever, it don't matter. But this hair is from the Doula Hair, as you saw in the title. But I'm just going to submerge the wig in the pink water. Make sure that the wig is all the way under the water. Make sure you mix it up and move it around so that it's like all the areas are covered by pink. And then I just left it in there. I set a two minute timer. I ended up leaving it for more like four. But here's how it came out. It was still some light spots. So I added my whole other half of the bottle. And you make sure you get all your dye out. People be wasting it, but you can rinse the bottle out. Like it don't hurt nobody. But yeah, see, there's like a light spot in the middle. It kind of looks blonde, but you want to put that part in first so that it gets the pink first and then continue to mix up the rest of the wig. So here's how the wig looks once I'm done with it. And I'm just going to wash it with this Aussie Moist shampoo and conditioner set. And then here's how it's looking after I wash it all the way. You can see the color is really, really pretty. It literally cotton candy. And here's all the shedding from combing it in the comb after it was already done washed. But here's the shedding from while I was washing it. It might look like a lot, but that's actually a normal amount for 613. And it never shed again after this when it was in my head. But now I'm just applying foundation to my cap and I'm gonna install it for y'all. All right, so we're about to apply the wig, but right off the bat, this wig is too small. I have made some adjustments, like little snips in the back to make it fit better. So it does pull all the way forward, but um, just like a wig that we've reviewed before, it doesn't come all the way down. Like my hairline stops here, the wig stops here, and then my hairline stops here, and the wig stops here. I was told by Nadula that their wigs are one size fits all. Not all of them, this particular wig is one size fits all. For now, we're gonna do the same method I always do, which is just applying it with got to be glue. And of course, I'm gonna just fast forward that part. Okay, so this is how the wig is looking on. Of course, we got it wrapped up so that the got to be can dry properly, but this is how it's looking just on my head in general. We're gonna let this dry. I can't wait to go in. My favorite part is when like I watch the videos and then I see people like doing the part and making it their skin color because then I like completed, you know? Because right now I have uh, makeup in my cap and it kind of helps the part a little bit, but I feel like when you have 613 hair, you have to also come up here a little bit and do some more to your part. But for now, while this is wrapped up, we're gonna go ahead and use my wax stick and just hot comb out the middle. Even though I already did that while it was on the wig head, uh, this kind of helps it shape to your head a little bit more. So I'm not gonna use that much wax because I already did. So we're gonna use a hot comb and just kind of lay this flatter. And I guarantee you it'll be flatter and look better even though I already hot combed it off camera. You see how it just like, you probably can't even tell through the camera. 
but it's just the little things. I was gonna wait to the end, but I think we also should, like we might as well just get the part out of the way. So we're gonna conceal the part so that it's my skin color. Okay, so right now I'm using foundation because I don't have a concealer that's my exact skin tone. So I'm just gonna take foundation. I'm scared, low key. It, my part is like my skin color now so it looks like there's actually a part there and then um, by now my hair should be dry so we're just gonna unwrap this and hope that I got to be dry because honestly it feels dry but I'm not sure I feel like oh <gasps> bruh what no for real what no for real where y'all already know where I'm going with this what lace what lace what lace Okay, the thing, the reason I'm off guard, like I'm caught off guard right now because it didn't seem like it was blending this well when I was putting it on. So I'm shook. I'm shook. I like, I don't. Do I do baby hairs at this point? I really want baby hairs. I feel like it would complete our look. But before we do it, let's go ahead and finish concealing our part, the parts that we couldn't reach. And then I think I'm going to decide whether or not to do baby hairs. Oh, and before we get too far, I do want to correct myself. I said that the size wouldn't fit. It is a little close to being too small, but it is just big enough to cover up my sideburns. The lace is actually way stretchier than I thought. I thought it was going to stay in that spot, but I was able to stretch it out. The part with like the lace front, I'm just shook, bruh. We're not even done yet. That's the crazy part. Do y'all see how we're not even done yet? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some baby hairs because I can't resist because I have a problem, an addiction, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're doing, baby hairs. So yeah, let's get into it. I am a little nervous about like baby hair showing up on my skin because it's such a light pink. But I do know that you should take a little bit more than you usually do because it has to show up. Okay, so these are the baby hairs it comes with. It comes with way more. I kind of thought it was weird. I almost thought it was a bang when I first put the wig on my mannequin head, but you're able to hot comb them back into your hair, so it's not a big of a deal. Okay, so I'm feeling spontaneous. We're gonna use this razor that I literally bought at the beauty supply store, so wish me luck, because I'm going to MBB. I'm gonna start long, because I don't really know how to use it. So if y'all can see, I'm literally pressing this against my skin. Not the smartest way, but also it, I can't feel nothing, so it doesn't really affect me. I don't know if y'all watched. Okay, first of all, you should have. Otherwise, what are you doing? But I don't know if you watched my baby hair tutorial. This would have been a way smarter way to do it than the scissors. Because you can just make a straight line across with this like this. But I'm dumb, so... <laughs> Welcome to my channel. To lay our baby hairs, we're going to be using Afro G Mousse because the Eco Styler is in a whole other room in the house and I'm not getting up to get it, to be honest. So, pray for me. Hopefully my lace doesn't lift and if it does... <laughs> okay, anyways. Honestly, I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to do what I did in my last video, which was my baby hair method once again. And I'm going to just put some in front of my hairline so that the hair stick onto it. So I don't have to put it on my lace. If you don't know nothing about that, you didn't watch my video, and I'm going to give you a 10 minute break to go watch my video because you don't even know how to do it right. And the method isn't working, but we're just going to put it on the hair anyway. I'm going to wrap this up really quick because these aren't sticking down the way I want them to. So I'm going to just wrap it down to dry. I know this is not how you wrap your hair, but I don't feel like going under the wig. I'm going to leave it tied up for about five minutes, probably a little less, but 
just long enough because I want the hairs to lay down and kind of stick to my head a little and they keep springing right back up like that is not cute so we're gonna kind of do this to set them in place and then I'm gonna continue after these are set okay so it's been like five minutes we're gonna take this off now okay yes so they're laid down this is not how I'm leaving them but it'll be easy to work with them now Okay, now we're gonna do the rest of my baby hairs. I'm gonna fast forward through this part again, and then I'm gonna be back to talk to y'all about the hair. Okay, so I just learned something. To lay your hairs and let them dry faster, you can just use the FOG like normal. And then when you're ready to like make them hold a little bit better, you can use Got To Be Spray on your brush and just brush them into place. And this is stopping my lace from lifting up, so I definitely recommend y'all do that. Okay, so now that the baby hairs are done, I'm gonna just use my wax stick and kind of wax everything else back. Okay, so this is how it's looking once it's done. I'm gonna do the other side off camera and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna go over everything on this hair. All right, so my hair is officially done and I'm officially the baddest bitch on YouTube. You can click out now. All right, but for real, my hair has been done for like 20 minutes. I could not help myself. I was just taking pictures and posting on Instagram and Snapchat because it's so cute and pretty and it turned out so good. And I'm really happy with the color. Here's a quick overview. I'm gonna let y'all see the lace or whatnot. Um, you pretty much already saw it. I just did this side. It's the only thing that's different. I'm glad I got to show y'all the process though so y'all can see how we got here. Okay, we worked hard for this, but it ended up being worth it. I literally love this color on my skin as I do all colors, but this is really pretty. I've been wanting pink hair for a minute now. But let's go over the stats for the hair. I'm going to read them to y'all really, really quick, and then I'm going to let y'all go. This is their 613 wig and 150% density and 22 inches. I believe it's just 13 by 4. I'm going to correct myself if I'm wrong, but I believe this is 13 by 4. I'm going to show you how far I come because that is one of my most highly requested comments. I need to like back up from the camera. I'll be too close. Y'all can't see nothing. And I have a monitor now so I can see what y'all can see. So I know for a fact you can only sit down to here. So I'm going to stand up so y'all can see the rest of the hair, okay? But yeah, here's how long it is. It actually feels, it looks like in the camera a little longer than 22 inches. I ain't going to lie. Especially in the front, I got humongous titties. Like, I'm not even going to front. <laughs> I'm not even going to cap with y'all. My titties are big. So, my 22 is probably looks a little shorter than other people's 22. So, right now, this is looking like longer than 22. I'm looking in the mirror, and it comes a little longer. It Honestly, I'm going to be honest. It feels like 24 inches. I will say a couple things about this wig. If there is a lower density than this, do not buy it. Your hair is going to be too thin. This is the lowest density I would ever go. It's natural, but not ball this is how thick it is it looks thick i feel like every time i do this on this channel they all look the same and y'all think i'm crazy but i can tell the difference this is like this is a natural density this is how your friend with straight hair this how her hair should be like any thinner she's balding if there's a lower density do not buy it i'm telling you now just invest in this one but i believe this is the lowest one you can get so that being said it's a very natural good density and since it is not too thick the hair stays straight and like flows you know in the wind or whatever i do want to say um i see a lot of youtubers telling you not to wash your hair after watercolor method i'm sure i said this earlier but wash your hair after the watercolor method or your hair won't get straight like mine does and then you're going to be in my comments saying youtubers get better hair when we really don't you just aren't doing it the same way we're showing you so Wash your hair after you get water after you do the watercolor method. It washes all the product out, the leftover excess product, so that your hair can be flowy and straight like this. Of course, y'all know I have a very 
nice good long history with Nadula hair so I definitely recommend them every video I do their hair has been good even when I was buying it in the very beginning before I had sponsors yes I do want to put that out there I trust them I would bet on them any day you can buy from them and comment down below let me know what you think I'm not scared I'll have any bad comments because I love their hair and I just feel like it's always been good period I thought this wig was a little small at first and then it ended up having like a really stretchy weird lace but it stretched all the way to my ears I will say I prefer it to be a little bit bigger uh, just so I can have excess to cut up I kind of like I kind of like my wigs to be too big so I can cut them exactly to my head all their wigs are to the size if they have sizes and they actually give you a little extra room this is my number one company for cap sizes like they always fit my head. It's always big with extra room. I love Nadula hair for their cap sizes. And right now I'm loving it for the 613. I ain't even gonna lie. With that being said, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the pretty gang and be a part of my little channel or whatever. Also hit the notification bell and then you really get a pretty gang. That's like deep in the gang, you know. That's like you're jumped in, but like subscribe button y'all cool too but you know hit the bell i don't have anything else to say so i'm gonna let y'all go i love you leave a comment down below any suggestions and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video